I like already that Bounce is trying to call out like a jump back to the stage. You know, he's, it's very obvious that Terry's recovery is very exploitable. Okay, that's a shot, right, Flair? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Locus, if if I'm correct, always does the uh, input power dunk for the extra damage and knockback. He just automatically turns around and hits you with a combo starter. Yeah. And so it makes him a really uh, difficult character to deal with. The yeah. neutral, but oh Whoa. my goodness. That killed? Yeah, and wow. look, the charged uh, rising tackle is very strong, but that also didn't look like the best DI from Bonzo either. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is one of the scary parts about fighting a Terry when they're already up on you in stocks, and they also have the you know access to the two super moves. It can just snowball uh, his lead so hard. Yeah. And I'm kind of seeing that right now from, uh, from Locus. Is he out of here? Yeah, three stock. The hit confirm into the Buster Wolf, looking really, really, really damn strong. Now they have four. Like, yeah. Well, uh, like, like, it's crazy. Anyways, another jab, jab, power dunk. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> I mean, this is his best combo starter for sure. Like, yeah. this racks up so much percent. Like, I even know. if you if you don't do the input power dunk, it still does 20 plus. I think around around 30. He almost died from that. Yep. Like, the only reason he lived longer was because he was K roll. Yeah. Like, the normal character is already dead. Yeah. What's the control going to be? Oh. Down tilt into another power dunk. Okay. He's out of here again, doing the input power dunk just to make sure he's dead. So that, that power dunk actually has negative landing lag. It, it's so hard to punish. It's almost like zero lag. Ooh, Ooh. F tilt, Buster Wolf? Dang, even heavy Dang, K rolls dude. out of here. Dude, double three sock? Yeah, that was a six sock, bro. I think I think Locust found his character. Okay. Took, a, took a little bit of time, but he's found it. No one was gonna break the curse today. <laughs> like, none of those characters barely make top eight to begin with. Like, Dude. let alone win this entirely stacked tournament that's happening right now. Huck no. Heck you know no. what's funny? Tweak was like, "Yo, I play all four of the rare characters. I think I can break the curse." And I was like, "All right, Tweak, you're definitely gonna go Diddy and DK and K rule." In this Definitely. tournament, yeah. I believe you. Mm -hmm. And then, like his very first match, even round one, he's already playing Joker. Like, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, bro. Deckon's recovery doesn't have a hitbox, so he can go crazy off stage if he sees opportunity for a down air. Yeah. Uh, conversely, though, if he has a can available, then he can use that to protect him while no. he's going up. Oh. oh, that was so clean, dude. Man, Nintendo's trying to make so many reads on like. Whoa. Wow. Okay, Clay well, Pigeon just saying, get off of me. Yeah, it came out just in time before the Falcon Dive was able to finish. Oh. Ooh, you're out of here. No hope of DIing that and living at yeah. all. Nair one into the knee this time. No up air required. So like an up air to catch him in the air? Like, Vitaly's been air dodging. I'd like to see Nintendo maybe try and get an air dodge read next time. Ooh, was that Gunman into the back air? Yep. Dang, that was clean. Yeah. Oh, got to watch that Falcon kick. Oh, even the sour spot backers enough to take the stock and no percent taken whatsoever for Fatality here. Oh, the can barely missed. And the back throw is just enough to kill. Yeah. Nintendo's got to find something. He's got to dig deep. Otherwise, Ooh. okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll smash. Catching that laggy option for Fatality, evening up the stocks pretty nicely here. Oh. Set up into a knee. Not quite. He's got to get around. Ooh. Free punish here? Oh my goodness, Vintendo got mixed really bad. That drift caught him completely off guard, which is just funny. Like, it's just such a weird move in general, like the way it functions. It, it's like a, like using like an item or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's kind of like snake grenade, but like not as good. <laughs> I think he's saving it for like a guaranteed kill. He's not really going for a read or anything like oh, that. Oh my. So he uses the neutral B just to pop him up right above Banjo. And just gets the easy up tilt. Mm -hmm. To be fair, there's not too many banjos that we've, we've been able to see. So, Charlotte like definitely oh? making work here. The spin attack, not quite enough to do it yet. Nice. Finally, the one time he decides to use Wonder Wing, he dies for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, it's, it's Ooh, oh, big okay. Wonder Wing catch the landing, almost killing Young Link at 95%. But the snipe, I think he forced him to burn his jump with the the egg snipe, and then like he couldn't even let snap with his up So that was just a clean edge guard overall from from Trailer man. Great ta uh, great parry. Parry's all around actually. Pops him up into the nair. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you can get some follow ups off of uh, neutral as well. Oh, really bad up be there from Biddy's getting punished over and over here, and 
Banjo is not really close to dying. He's one of the heavier characters in the game, but landing there in the up smash, I actually didn't know that was a hit confirm. Usually, character like you know, Young Link really thrives in this type of situation. Right. Okay, he's really starting to get something. Ooh. But, oh, up smash. Spot dodge up smash. I respect the attempt with the parry into the Wonder Wing. We're trying to call out Fiddy, not hit confirming and just guessing, but that can quite work Ooh. out. Ooh, but a drop down fair. Nice. He pretty much forced him into that recovery trajectory just by using the egg to cover where he was going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I really like how he's forcing Biddy into the air with these uh, projectiles. Mm -hmm. He's covering with the solid aerial. Oh, nice punish on the whiff grab. It's so it's so interesting to see Charlie use that move because he's never using it in like weird, like random spots. Like yeah. the, anytime he uses it, he's pretty much going to hit with it. Right. Input. You know, he's like, no homie stocks here, man. Sorry, USD, but uh, <laughs> we take those, dude. Yeah. I flew all the way from Japan. <laughs> I'm not trying to give up any <laughs> free stocks. Uh, no setup with the grenade. A little bit too far away. Uh, you always got to be careful with the bell at the ledge like that. It goes like a really awkward angle that a lot of people aren't ready to cover, but nice punish on the Wonder Wing. Was completely ready for that. It's one of the few times I've seen Trello just go for like a raw Wonder Wing uh, kill. But there's the up smash out of the down throw, catching like the perfect mash out to get the sweet spot there. Right. He's like trying to use the water hitbox of the hydrant, just push him into these smash attacks. Oh. Okay, oh. okay beer versus key, keys him at bay. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was that was like a thousand IQ, man. That was two thousand IQ. <laughs> I've seen that setup before, but every time I see it, it still like blows my mind. <laughs> so he uses the. Uh, now he doesn't have too many spells available because he used up all his MP, so he's going to have to oh. wait a little bit. Oh my god, the Galaxian combos are so strong! Oh my goodness, T! He killed so early with that. Yeah, firing back all of a sudden. Alright, it's Hero, so I'm not going <laughs> to say that uh, this is a big lead for T. Yeah, man. He can yeah. die right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice down air, though. Pitching the ledge jump. I think it's just funny when... Uh, the opponent just lets Hero just stand there, like, going through yeah. his spells. <laughs> it's being very Dude, polite. Dude, what the heck? Yo! <laughs> just well, that got shot down very, very Dude, quickly. that was a combo video. We need a clip for that whole last stock, dude. Yeah. He literally juggled him from left to right. We saw Runes get that early kill with the cargo throw up there. But, uh, oh, my God, Fatality is just carrying this man all the way to the blast zone. Dare? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God, that dare is so easy on DK's recovery. I know. Did you so, see how fast he went for that, too? He's just, like, fast fall just to be able to catch that. Oh. Very nice stuff. Oh. What the heck? This guy just got a side B spike? Did he even mean to do that? I think he just wanted to sweet spot the ledge with it, but who, who cares, man? We'll take it. Yeah, covered a lot of options that time around, so that will work. Yeah. Great recovery from Fatality. Mixes is up here. Oh, doesn't get the beer versus uh, down B he's looking for. It. Nice armor on the side B. Oh, uh, doesn't react in time to the trip. Oh. Nice. Wow. I think that was better to go for the uh, dare instead of knee because I think DK could have lived that. But Yeah. Oh, death. You're out of here. It's the beauty of this stage. Why do people let DK go to stadium? I do not understand. Still surviving. Wow, that shield almost popped. But another command <laughs> grab from Fatality. Other side again. Oh! Okay, takes him off the top of the up air. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness, DK's roll from ledge is so slow. I feel like every time... Oh, oh. the knee! Yeah, there we go. You I know what's like cra crazy about that knee hitting? Yeah. Is DK's so big that the knee only hit his foot, but <laughs> it's still it's still connected. You're right. I feel like just every time Fatality, as soon as he has ledge control, the, the stock is basically done. Like, that's just how good he's been doing it. But wow. there we go, another... Get him out of here, dude. To the up air, yeah. Rune's so good at equalizing the stocks with that. Oh, oh no, wait, yeah, yeah too much, too much start up on that border. Try to mix up Fatality. Oh, opportunity here for a combo. Nice. Yeah, this is not oh my good. goodness. Oh, did Fatality expect that back here to kill at the end? I guess. I guess he backed on it. Oh, if, he loses, if he loses this match, I, I mean, it's, it's possible. <laughs> giving away a free stock against runes, I don't, I don't agree with that whatsoever. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Okay. Okay. Nice. I, think, I think he's. Oh, he jumps. Oh, up. no jump. Oh, but no, no jump. jump. Oh, he's out of here. Get out of here. Alrighty. Nice. Score. Nice way to end that 
the Don't fatality. Story of the century, man. You beat Ken, you lose the fatality. Like, you know and already Zachary counterpicking game one. No surprise <laughs> yeah. here. Now, Korean, tell me why you have a problem with Wait, Zach Ray's who, strategy. Who said I, I had a problem? Oh, okay. Well, why do, you, why do you feel like he's always just counterpicking? Do you feel like he's just waiting for you to pick a character first? Oh, 100%. Okay. 100%. Let's keep it, let's keep it in a book. Like, against Tweak, you're going to have to mind pick. We don't, we don't get free counterpicks against Tweak. This man definitely reviewed all the mods. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, no doubt in his mind. But, I mean, I don't care how much bot study you do. You know, somebody like Zach Ray, he's just, his ability to just adapt on the fly is really what makes him so dangerous. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, power dunk right through. Man, really great DI coming out from Zach Ray. Uh, you, you gotta, whoa, what are we? Bro, that whole stock was amazing up until that. What the hell? <laughs> Locus, why, brother? That was a the heck if I ever seen it. Man, man, this thing's not in dire straits just yet, but Zach Ray's just one of those guys, man. You let him get too much momentum. Character like Rob, it can really make you pay. But there it is, solid conversion from Locus. But, I mean, right now, he's doing a really good job of recovering. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I can definitely be wrong, right? And I, I think the Terry meta has been developing. I think. Crack shoot is very, very good at recovering. Even power dunk as well. You can get really creative when recovering with the character. Right now, Zach Ray slowly but surely kind of running away with this. But the dash attack is going to take Zach Ray off the top. And guess what time it is? It's go time for right, 104%. Yeah, I mean, this is still very much doable. But the thing is, you can't really count on Zach Ray to get kind of antsy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to play a patient because he has no reason not to. Right. Somebody like that, supreme lead, he's not one to let it go. And Locus, unfortunately, that deficit a little too much to overcome. Zachary takes the first game. They just play it so well. And I, 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 can, I don't really have an explanation, but they, they just know really how to abuse that stage. And really, look at this DI coming in from Zachary. Uh, SDIing down and in. You can fall out of the uh, power dunk, especially if they go for the uh, hard input power dunk. Again, oh, yeah, you just SDI in right there. That was clean, though. Locus, relentless. Today? Yeah, isn't 128 like contested tomorrow? All of them? Yeah, all like, of them. Like, tournament concludes tomorrow, too, as well. Correct. Like, these players are going to be in for the long haul. Yep. <laughs> right. Good thing we're not playing. You know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could play and still not have to worry because I wouldn't make it that far. And unfortunately, <laughs> Locus unable to make it back to the stage. That down there from Zachary finding his mark doing his damage. And Zachary and me always putting together some pretty unique combinations Ooh. with Rob, but really not mattering at this point to Locus. He is really asserting himself in this game, too. Where are you jumping, though? Where are you jumping, man? He, ca he caught that ledge jump with the uh, side B as well. Very powerful move from Terry. You can set it up with Nair as well. And Locus with a very commanding lead, actually lapping yeah. Zach Ray in percent. This is definitely the gameplay people have been looking for from Terry. And Locus at the moment, not disappointing. My man's already at 156. What happened? And the only thing that can really help Zach Ray here, I right, Phil, is that if he could just throw him off stage and just keep him off. Like, that's really what's going to be the thing to save him from having to go to game three. But I don't think Locus has any intention of being denied. This man is hungry on oh. the proud. Oh, my God. The gyro assist, though. Oh, hold on, oh, Korean. No double jump. No hold double on, jump. Korean. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, hate to see it. Locus was so close. What I say? The, I said, get him off stage. The prophet. I said, get him off stage. He ain't coming back. Zachary said, you're damn right. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. We're going to see who got it right now. Who got the juice? DK Will versus the champion? Champion? Okay. It's an interesting tag. He's got to play Diddy, right? Uh, you would think. I'm, he's cast these days with these tags, bro. I don't get it. <laughs> we getting baited left and right, bro. I, I don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch this man just come out playing Joker. Yeah, like the, the <laughs> farthest thing from a chimp. Like. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. Uh, Ken is someone that you really want to keep your eyes open. Uh, Ken oh, is, I, I definitely want to say, the best Sonic in the world. And yeah. he hasn't been really able to compete here on the American soil. It, it's terror. It's actually pretty OD that he's finally getting an opportunity to come through. Right. And like this being the event, like, you know, you said it best, man. He's going to surprise a lot of people and just knock a lot of heads. People are going to get jammed from Sonic. And yeah. no, like, not a lot of people know the matchup. So oh, somebody told me Ken's in losers. Really? <laughs> he lost to who? Oh, he lost to Ruins. He lost to a DK player? <laughs> he was talking all that smack. He tried to disrespect Raph, okay? Raph top made a dream hack. Where the hell can it? <laughs> Can't fight for Are his life. Are we side bet right now? Can't fight for his life. Are we side bet right now? I don't bet, sir. This is a Nintendo partner stream. I don't know what they do in your part of the woods. <laughs> All right? But I, uh, I root All for right, everybody. We'll talk, we'll talk offline because yeah. I think I definitely think Ken's going to outplay his yeah, I might be capping a little bit. All right. DK Will <laughs> versus the champion who plays Peach. All right. Outstanding. You know, you're at the event that's named after you, essentially, Congo Saga. You might get a little bit of a power buff. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just making up some stuff right now to just get this man a chance. But he's not doing a bad job. Yeah, right not now. Because we got you got to frame this, right? 
and we, we said this when we saw him come to the stage. This is DK Will. He's been at the top of the DK Medicine's bra. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy just kind of gets it. Look at this, man. He's Watch that shield, pimp. 192. And, uh, oh, man, the back foot going to take it That's to it. it. Man, DK, we're looking to prime up the three stock here. I'm saying, bro, he actually might get it. Like, it's actually, <laughs> it's kind of hard to debate just as the yeah, ferocity I mean, he's playing with is kind of crazy. Yeah, and I mean, you get one little opening as Donkey Kong, yeah. and that that could mean the world. Donkey Kong definitely a character that you know gets messed up as disadvantage like any heavy would, but he still has really quick buttons. You got to respect him in neutral. Ooh, he gets the trip, Love gets it. it down B. He, he wants a neutral beat. He's going to finish it. He's neutral. literally not letting him play the game. Oh, oh that footstool was nasty, bro. The three stock. The three stock clean. Damn, bro, he's got a DK shirt on, bro. But, but maybe the champion was just like, man, maybe I gave you the free power up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At that point, man, you just kind of got to try and get any advantage that you can. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeet, y'all. Out of her. Tried to make a play. Did not work out and on the wrong side. Wow. Angle down for it. So, again, where's the back air? Right there. Yeah, there Call it is. for it. He delivered it. No questions asking. At this point, so he's actually lower in percent than he was the last game where he three-stocked him. So, another three-stock could actually be very relevant. You know what, man? I'll be the equalizer. Come on, the champion. I'm, hey, I'm, not, double three -stock. I'm not rooting against him, but... Buddy, you got to get a hit. <laughs> okay, well, here's the hit. Can the champion take it all the way and try to get this stock? No, man. This down B is being a terror right now. Ooh, oh, armor. That's dead. Buff, baby. Is it it? Oh, wow. It got Dang. buffed. It got buffed. Dang. All right. I did those, not know. Those patches, they be hitting, bro. I did not. Side B be hitting. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I also noticed that the saga in March right. is final saga, right? Right. So who from that universe could people be expecting? Cloud? No, who else? Who could be another DLC? Is this a trick question? Sora! Oh, yeah, Sora's yeah, yeah, in yeah. Final Fantasy. Well, Sora's in Kingdom Hearts. And Final Fantasy is in Kingdom Hearts. Technically. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, well, <laughs> damn. I did not know my anthology. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I, uh, well, I never owned a PlayStation, so. Damn. Yeah, we, we was poor as hell. <laughs> And speaking of working, Tony Sherbert putting on the tie right now. All right, I'm not mad at it, man. You know, you, you know you're going to see the DKs. They're going to be out in abundance, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking forward uh, to seeing a lot of them be able to have an opportunity to make it to day two because I think we have a lot of talented players here, uh, especially, like, the ones piloting into DKs. Why not? Yeah, unfortunate for Tony. Uh, it's a Fox, tough matchup, though. Yeah, Fox has, very, very Fox has messed up DK for over a decade now. That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's not a Smash title where Fox is just not – been kind of big brother to this uh, okay, okay, this damn. DK and not even a percent being taken. So that kind of goes to show you uh, the level at which Light is just coming out the gate with. And Light is definitely hitting my man's up with the buttons. Yeah. And there, oh, the jab. And, ooh, he tried to get him with the grab as well. And okay, okay, all right. So we're not going to see a JV4, right? I highly doubt it. All right. Tony? Tony? Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I mean, you know, the odds of seeing a JV4 is just like, you're giving somebody absolutely no credit at that point. You know what I mean? And okay, there's the grab. He knew he couldn't get the up smash. He was a little too late on that. Let's get the nair. Ooh, wow, the cross-up roll. And 192 here on to Tony. That's and there's sick. the nair yeah. trade. Wow. I'll take that trade every single time. And you kind of tell Light was going for that finish. Back there, dash attack, yep. Yep, try to get the fair drag down again, create that tech chase situation, oh. or get the jab lock. Oh, that's so good. That oh, is it's crazy how Fox nasty. just gets that, that double up air for free. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I wish he was a little heavier at least, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should see the side eye I just gave Korean. God, man. I'm trying to make Fox out here, bro. He <laughs> it be a little bit better. He wants the world, man. <laughs> What's the world? I'm not mad at him, man. Light looking like he's taking over the world, at least this stage. That's for damn sure at what least, a performance he is putting on thus far. At least um, Tony coming back and taking a stock, though. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. for sure. Oh, that final hit, man. That one straight hit to do it, and that'll be enough with the back air. I mean, it pretty much got buffed in terms of area. You know what I mean? It's, it's such a big move. And there is the separation. Can you save Nana? Yes, Ooh, you can. Wow, beautiful from Big D. But as he sinks to his Ooh, death, yeah, no it. double jump there. Grab, but can you close out the Sopo right now? I mean, Big D just needs to get back on the stage, which he does. That side wow. buff, and the up air almost takes it. Oh, he gets the air dodge bait, but really good drift coming out from Broto, going to the left there, but throwing him off stage to the left as well. Can you recover? No, you can't. Uh, yeah, man, I have to kind of 
blow that kiss up there, trying to get the recovery, but nah, man, the back air just meeting you, but the immediate strike back from Big D. Oh, oh attacking uh -oh. on this damage, though. Yeah, maybe maybe Inkling wasn't the right call. I don't know, man. If, I mean, if he takes DL right here, I could imagine that Lucino will make an appearance, but... Bro, this it, Big D... Oh, here's the desync ledge trap, though. Wow! Oh, he almost gets the wow. forward smash! That was almost so godly. How did that not hit but the up smash? You're gonna grab Popo. Nana's gonna strike you back to, you know, really push the meta. Yeah. So, um, I, I just wouldn't be surprised if Proto is very experienced in this match. I mean, just... Wow, 72. That was insanity. Look at this desync on the ledge trap as well. Where are you going to go? Proto has to go all the way to the top platform and reset. How to control both of them so well. Great directional air dodge to the right. That would have been the stock for sure. Or at least a very bad situation. Definitely would have been the stock. I think you would have definitely lost at least. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Speaking of loss, there it is. Wow. You know, Japan obviously coming in droves, coming in numbers. A lot of strong players, but not as invincible as Ooh. you may think. Big D breaking it down. What are you blocking right now, Proto? Because it's just going straight into the grab. Big D with all the creative desyncs, and he's forcing him into block and then getting grabs out of it too. And we've already seen what Big D can get off of grabs. This is crazy. Being able to do all the crazy strings, but when you're in the disadvantage state, knowing how to use desyncing defensively. You know what I mean? Like, that's so impressive. It tells you a lot about this. Oh my goodness, the back throw left himself wide open in Big D. Wow. Well, I guess ink for him is just a fundamental. Yeah. <laughs> Seismic toss. Nice. Death? No, not nah, just not yet. Nine yeah. holding the great DI 144. Heavy has got us in the game. Oh, oh but fly. The... <laughs> okay. Then able to hit him with the back air, too. Mm -hmm. Big tech chase opportunity there with that back down throw. tilt. Not quite. Good opportunity. He's still going to go for the Razor Leaf to set up the low recovery and the down air on the second attempt. Ned is not going to let Nairo come back for free. Yeah, the double dunk just to make sure, and it works out in his favor. We're looking for a nice, good empty hop here to kind of switch him up here with a down tilt. And the up smash, and that'll take care of Nairo's stock here. Ned going to game one in his hands. All right, what's the call going to be? He's looking for it here. Not a space back air, and that allows Nairo to kind of get it. Yo, he barely just dodged that explosive flame. Oh, and the switch to get the invincibility frames, but Nairo was there for the second jump and the second backer attempt. Yeah, he was ready for it that time. Three stocks to one, all of a sudden, uh, man, it just took one game for Nairo really to turn it back oh, around. Oh, my he God. He knows where he's going. He knows where he's going. Boy, why are you going low? If there's one way to stop momentum on a player, that's definitely one. Ooh. Drop down there. Uh, enough time to shield. There and it the is. Back air. There, there it is. Go. Yeah, it didn't rob him <laughs> of the stock, but it closed it out. So very nice stuff. Yeah, he hasn't been playing Ivysaur too much, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think Squirtle's it's his Squirtle's favorite. It's Squirtle's been the enough. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he gets it after the up smash. That forward smash was not enough. Doesn't want to get caught out by up air for going too far in. Oh, that forward smash almost did it. Oh, not enough. Uh, that. Okay, well, he tried to go for it. I respect uh, it. Yeah, you least. have to give him. You have to at least give him that. Stopping out, switching, forcing the switch here. Back throw. That'll do it, yeah. Charizard's heavy, man, but I'm telling you, Palatina, yeah, yeah. she's got some strength. Yeah, anything could kill at this point. Oh, I'll try to find the up air. Not quite. Up smash again? <laughs> no, seismic, seismic toss. toss. There we go. Good mix up going for an empty hop, and that's something Nairo was kind of accounting for, right? The up smash from Charizard probably at this point. Is it going to be the right call? He's still at the percent where he's not going to get hit by back air, but the down tilt will be enough to clip him and send Nairo to game five. There's the flamethrower. Down oh. tilt. Looking for the down what? air, and he finds it right before he gets the ability to even touch the ledge. That was great timing. Ned just knew. He just <laughs> knew exactly when it was going to come out. And going going five games between you and Nairo, you got to know something, yeah, right? Right. Uh, you got to know something <laughs> with the back air. <laughs> oh, man. I never thought I'd see a Pokemon trainer put Squirtle at the front end of the center. But here, man, Ned is definitely showing everybody. Oh, and the down air from me missing. Oh! And a second attempt. Ned is not going to let Nairo come back. He knows that Palutena can beat him in the range. And there we go. The big conversion. That's going to be scary. What's the option going to be? Go yeah. for the back air. Even game right now. The switch to and the Razor Leaf to cover the shield so he can get back on the stage. Ned pulls out all the stops. Oh, the Razor Leaf. Mm, he barely the back air the not back there. Air. Oh, he barely gets it in, the Razor Leaf. Here we go. Into Fine the up B. No. No, 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 no. What's he the option going to be? Him. Calls him out. Gets a back throw. Sends he him to the other side. The Charizard comes out. He wants Nairo to go low there. Woo! Nice. 
Nib with the stage control here. No up smash just yet. Narrow not falling to it this time around. No explosive flame comes out. Tries to air dodge through. Oh, he makes it back. <laughs> he makes it back. This is a shake as well. I told you guys, game five, last stock, last hit. Who gets it? Oh, Get that's it. The side toss. toss. Net does it, and he moves on in the bracket. Upsetting <laughs> Nairo in the process. Woo! There's the pop up. Moving on. Nairo in the loser's bracket here. It took the last game of our block to see the upset of the day here, and it is Ned versus Nairo. I know it's kind of a tough call sometimes, so there's the Nair walling him out. That's definitely gonna be a thing that uh, Falcon's gonna have to contend with too, is these disjointed hitboxes from Rob. Oh, and this could be an oh. easy edge guard. Oh, yeah. man. I think he was just scared of that second, like, drop from the, the gyro there. He didn't want to commit to it early up B, but right. oh my goodness, Ooh. even Rob's dead at that percent. That's crazy, yeah. yeah. You pretty much have to go back to the level at that point. There, yeah, that's going to do it. All right, let's see if a Fatality can work on the comeback here. Where's the mash? Nice. Doesn't get hit by the combo there. Right. So he's going to live just a little bit longer, but he needs a big play to bring this one back. That's right. Which we've seen him capable of doing. Nice. Catch the right. roll. Catch the, the jump, jump too. Ah, oh. I think he didn't turn around before that oh, up air. That's yeah. that upper of Rob's definitely gonna close it out. Yeah, I think he wanted to dash back, but he might have just inputted a little bit too fast. Yeah. Wadi is covering that really well. Yeah, he is. And I mean, there's so many ways he can do it too. Oh, oh. Combo? oh wow! My God. God. Are you kidding me? That was so situational. The creativity, man. Oh, watch the nair string. Nice. Ooh. Oh, to the reverse. Okay. Okay. That's crazy for me. Tell him to go for the command oh, grab. Okay, we're, yeah. going, we're, going, we're going west. Yeah, he should definitely go to the other side of the stage there. If he committed to going back towards the right, that was a free uh, upbeat from Fatality. Yeah. But, oh, no, wow. still really good the eye, but there's wow. the snipe. Wow. I think he might have jumped back there into the blast zone. I think he could have lived that, that uh, laser. That Nair perfectly placed, though. Like, Ooh. he does it right at the Oh, oh my God. God. He had so much time to not roll there. Like, he was charging the down smash way before he even thought of rolling. Yeah, that felt like it was, like, buffered or something. Yeah. Like, as soon as he doesn't have his jump, it's go time. Like, just go out there. End him. Wait, watch the DI. Oh! oh, my God. Oh! And the taunt. All right. Because, like, you know, with down tilts, four airs, you don't need platforms to extend Rob's combos. Oh, wow. He really went for it. Oh, no! my God. And he died for it. No ledge snap there. That hurts. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. Wow. Wadi got a little greedy there, trying to get, like, a gyro setup, but uh, Fatality immediately stuffing that stock out. Yep. Oh, that could have been... Okay, I almost wonder if he could have turned around and got a, got a knee off that, but, yeah, the back air, uh, fair bit of damage as it is. Up smack! Wow. Tech chase here. Ooh, wow. Nice reverse up there. Oh, wait, Wadi's got to be careful. Oh, oh my, my God! Oh, where's he going? And they're both <laughs> making it back. <laughs> Hold up, how's he gonna land here? Oh, uh, yeah. He went all the way in. Wadi reading the full drift. He kind of doubted his reactions for a second, you know? Yeah, that's, that's a great follow up. That's like the classic punish off of that berry. 39% for Wadi. This is uh, not gonna be easy for Fatali to come back here and win. Wadi oh, is just stacking it up. Oh. If that Nair actually connected, that was really, really yeah. important. It, yeah, if he hit the Nair, it was a free side beat. Yeah, that might have been the, the, the game. And the set. Oh my god, he's pressing him to the corner! Oh! Over and over, and finally that dare is gonna find its mark. A little late with that turn up. Oh. Oh. But across the entire stage, he had an excellent DI to kind of DI into the corner and, you know, extend that stock with that up throw. Oh, he DI's the up throw too. That's how you know he knows the matchup. Ooh! Oh. What you swinging at? And the whiff punch with the flow cancel back here. Some sort of already up two stocks. Get off me, though. Yeah. Using a little bit of the armor of the up B, just relieve a little bit of that pressure from the down air. Yeah. Up B. Still not enough. Dang, Great DI man. straight to the corner. That's actually Samsor. been another theme of this game, man. It feels like Samsor is DIing everything so well. Like, I, the, the number of times Goblin's gotten the kill flash on a move, but Samsor has actually survived. All right, Goblin, I mean, Rage Roy can definitely kill really early, but, like, Samsor is not falling into any obvious setups whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, wow. Able to nair all the way in. Okay, some combo damage here. Yeah, but again, that, that flowing is a peach. Wasn't able to uh, carry the string, but hold up. Miss tech. Oh. That could have been horrible for Sam's Yeah, part. man. Oh. It's like the same thing as, uh, wait, dash attack? Dash attack. No. Wow. Yeah, he, didn't, he yeah. didn't DI straight up. Yeah. Dang up would have been really awful there. No jump. Oh, hold oh. up. Oh. He could definitely close this out if he gets a side B. 
Oh, wait oh a minute. My goodness. I'm oh sorry, I might have slept on Goblin a little bit too much. Yup. Up no, there. It's basically even considering the rage on Roy. Oh! Oh! Wow. The jump call out. That was so scary. Wow. He just needs to make sure he's not getting like snuck out on where, where Sensor is doing these kind of aggressive options coming out of the corner. Yeah. You, you just haven't really been able to see him uh, ledge trap uh, Simsora that well. Yeah. Although, for what it's worth, I think Samsora hasn't really been ledge trapping Goblin that much either. Ooh, looking for the jab. There yeah, it is. The, the first, first jab one, on the back The first one of the set so far. Right. Not falling into it whatsoever. Oh, yes, he's trying it again because with punch on the back there. Oh, oh. <laughs> my goodness. He tried to drip to, like, avoid getting sniped there, but he ended up putting himself in an even worse spot. Yeah. Again, man, yeah, that floatiness of peach. Wow. That downer off the top. All right. I've never seen that. Yeah, that was like crazy. That. Insane almost come back. Oh, oh no, oh, tech. No. Oh, you got to have those, man. Yeah. He didn't think he was getting sent in that direction, or maybe he just thought the uppy hitbox would protect him, but. Oh, oh. wow. Sour spot in the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. I actually think that combo because of the sour spot. Yeah, I think so, man. All right. Yeah, opportunity here for Goblin trying to hunt these landings, but Samsora mixing up really well. Yeah, his uh, oh, oh, hold up that's though. That's the classic. Double edge dance, catching that spot dodge. Insanely strong move. Yeah. It's like comparable to uh, limit cross slash. I actually think it's stronger in terms of knockback. That's kind of that's kind of yeah. unfortunate for our boy Cloud. <laughs> yeah, it's but, crazy. Uh, okay. Nice right, getting to the platform there, so make the LB save. Wow, oh, the real wow. back. From mid stage, yeah. I mean, that's one thing that, that the platform looks like it does from is it, it's, a, it's a really nice hyper to just land on it, uh, make it a lot harder to punish that up. Yeah. Oh no, sweet spot on the up air. Nope. Nice. That's gonna do it. Yeah, catching the jump too. Oh. oh man, even going for the yellow counter, barely avoids the turn up to get back to the ledge. Okay. But, wow, the double edge uh, dance from the ledge, just throwing it out. Mm -hmm. Finally getting that stock, but man, 121. How is Sephsor going to respond? Oh, wow, that near actually working oh, out. Oh, but that oh. down air? Yeah. Drag down into the back air, man. Yeah, you got to be careful going up for those combos. Like Leo de Buzz or. Yeah. Oh, my that goodness. That is a he lot took of damage. So much. Oh, and, and then his jump just got completely destroyed by Shutan. Oh, I love the whistle from the ledge. Just in case Tweet decided to swing at him, he would have had the armor to go through it and right. then pressure his shield. Oh, oh my they god! Are not now, I said, "Come on!" Wow, that he, was super unfortunate. He got the, you know, he, the, the one freeze when, yeah, he, he froze there in place from Arsene just spawning. Yeah, and Shutan's like, yeah, "I have all the time in the Shutan's world." Shutan's like, "Don't, you. don't mind if I will." Again, the whistle from the ledge. Ooh. Makes it so hard to actually get a. Oh wow, that jump. was stressful. Yeah, he almost got sniped by the purple off stage. Yeah, Ooh. that down smash. And now another opportunity. Okay, oh. yeah, not even uh, really in range of the stage there. But yeah. still, I mean, you know, much better than game one. Looking for an up smash off the platform there. Would like to see more drag down conversions. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh my Bruh. god. Yo, Shoot he went time. from zero to sixty Shoot. in no time flat. Shoots on is going so aggressive. He's like, I, you have arson? I don't even care, man. Hold all these yellow Pikmin, dude. Still has to worry about the up throw. Yeah. It's coming very soon. Oh, but, wow, not going to need, need it. it. Dang, such a high percent that the back wow. is enough. If uh, she was ready, that was like a parry up smash right there. But still, Tweak trying to get this stock off. Back throw finally is enough. Uh -huh. uh, 59 is not so bad. That's so a bad. pretty decent wolf combo. But just starting it, that that's the, the trouble right here for Tweak. But, yep. Backer would be really nice for Tweak right here, but he is building up oh damage so fast. Goodness, the white fast. Pikmin did oh. so much percent. God. Okay. okay. Getting the F tilt, but man, he took so much damage. He's gonna, he's gonna need a big combo and just a strong ledge trap to keep Shutan at disadvantage. Yeah. Right now. Oh my oh. goodness, the movement is so tricky there for yeah, Tweak. Yeah, man. Everything he oh. could ask for here. Okay, and he doesn't have Legend Ball. Nice. There it is. Nice. He knows very likely to go back into the stage because he doesn't want to grab the ledge yeah. again. Oh. All right. Nice. Ooh, wow. True combo there. Falling fair into the back there. Getting the sweet spot this time, so he's definitely dead. That's how he killed him last uh, uh, set when he was able to win. I'm surprised that's the first time we've seen him up smash this set uh, as, a, as a potential ledge trap. That. Uh, luckily, yeah, yeah, luckily first, Twiggy didn't get the spike hitbox, but watch. Oh, oh, he tried to reflect oh. the white Pikmin. But yeah. Oh, okay. my God. What an offstage play from Shukan. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's how you have to do it. you got to prey on Wolf's kind of mediocre recovery. Uh, but yeah, solid edge guarding from Shutan. 
Oh, oh my bag. goodness. Oh. That was so beefy, man. Killed all the Pikmin, too. Yeah. Now the side platform's gone. Nice. nice MP Hop, dude. He knows the roll and spot as they're coming. Playing so patiently Ooh. and already turned around, ready for the roll. Yeah. Immediately covering that with the up smash. And now all of a sudden, Tweak feels like he's got all the momentum. The scoreboard says 2 2, but the momentum tells a different story. Shukun is going to have to come up with an answer for this wolf. Not the best choice. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Good start smash. here for Tweak. Yeah. Okay, a lot of damage here. Gonna nice. get that forward air. Still gotta watch the purple though. Nice, catch with the roll in. No uh, fair back air. Oh, the up tilt covering a cross up situation. And this oh back air is He's so applying scary. so much pressure on the platform. Yeah, oh! Keeping two down in a really bad spot. No wow. sweet spot though, but covers the ledge up again. Yeah, you got the inner hit. Oh, oh the two frame. Hit him before he can even grab the ledge there. Just drifted too far. Above the stage, yeah. Tweak seeing the opening and stealing that stock. Tweak covering the drift really well, and Shuton just trying to find out. Wow. There's the up air though. Okay, still anyone's game. Shuton only at 52 yeah. percent. Oh yeah, that was nice. I like that Tweak saw that that was nice to save on shield. Didn't try to force anything. Just got out of there. That's right. Oh, now this feels so even. Okay. You know no. Shuton oh, wants to tap nice that. Nice catch on the spot dodge, dude. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. He, he saw that he got the white Pikmin. On Tweak, Dude. he was like, yo, is it go time? But Tweak was like, no. Oh, my. Followed up right by a drag down combo into the smash stack. And that's not what you want. That's also, he doesn't want that back air to connect the grab. I mean, it did get buffed, but it's still not the greatest grab in the game. Hey, it's telegraphed. It's slow. But guess what isn't slow? The up smash coming out after the bell, cleaning out that stock. T keeping the percents extremely close. He's gotten a lot of percent. He's kind of got his foot footing back in this stock number two. Yeah, down air, out of shield. Oh, wow, sniping wow. with the orange. Dang. Like I said, there's so many bonus fruits with so many different attributes. And wow, just these guys are just getting the revenge thoughts right when they're spawning in from the angel platform. Love it. Okay, still, now he's got the spaceship. He definitely wants the those early combos. Oh, man, you are very brave, T. This Arsene just kind of does damage instead of taking the stock. But now he's got a situation. Beautiful tech coming out from T. That was his life on the line. Much so of a treat to watch. And not a I lot mean, of Pac-Man that do it at this He does level. have other characters, though. He just doesn't really bring them out in, in tournament. You may see him like in Squad Strike or possibly Jeez. doubles. But in singles, it's all about this yellow ball. Yeah, and man, this yellow ball is taking a beating right now because T just got strung all the way across the stage there. During that whole time he's hitting him when the R sends up, he's draining meter as well. Right, right. OK, well, up smash out of shield, and that's going to take the first stock for T. Will MK Leo be able to get a revenge kill, or is T gonna be able to get some extra credit? T covered the uh, the trajectory of the grapple with a strawberry and a falling down air. Oh wow, what a trade for T! The forward smash and the nair collide, but of course uh, T gonna come out on top with that. Great angle. It's gonna force T off the ledge, make him pick an option. Now MK Leo still on the hunt, doubling the damage. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Leo's so good at getting these stocks without our send. I will say it time and time again, he's just so good at it. Whoa, that Hydrant was looking dangerous. Okay, T's gonna have to get off the ledge. Oh, okay, double Whoa! chip. Oh, he missed it! He was so close to getting the clip. Oh, man, the, you, you hate to see it, but T is still in this game. That's right. That's right, MK Leo is still fishing. Drag down, up air. He's not gonna find F Smash connects, and that's gonna be one game for T. T is on the board. In there. T getting another forward smash, knowing exactly where Leo wants to land and reset. And again with the bell. No, 180 and counting for sure. I thought he was still on his first backer. stock. Yeah. Well, the trampoline messed up the grab. Wow, that's so smart coming out from T. And that, the trampoline out of shield is so good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this back air. Not what? gonna do it. Not from center stage. Not without Arson. What is this DI coming out from <laughs> T? He's still alive. 193 percent on oh, the pack. Aha is approaching the point where. Just the side B is going to take the stock. I, I know, right at this point. Is T going to take out another stock before going? Okay, you're no, down. No, no, down no. throw. Down. Back throw. Back throw. What? Back throw. Back, back throw. How? Hey. Why, why were you even DIing that? That's what I want to know. Like, that's crazy that he was able to do that. And T is still alive. 225%. I think this man just owned, <laughs> like, earned the medal for, like, longest surviving stock at Congo Saga. I mean, 100%. We're, we're approaching three minutes. It took. It took two minutes and 50 seconds to take that stock, and Jeez. it was a two frame down air <laughs> at 250 plus percent. Bringing this game back into his favor, and I mean, maybe this is game four Leo actually coming out now. Wow! How did, did Leo MK know? Leo know? How did, did Leo know? <laughs> How did Leo know? 
<laughs> Bro, he he bounced the he bounced the bell off the backboard, but the orange snipe off stage. All right, oh. so T still with the stock lead, still with the control in this game number four against Leo. I mean, no one was getting hit really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just like straight hits hitting T here and there. As you can see, those straight hits definitely added up. They added up to a percent where Persona back air is gonna hit and gonna take a stock. More damage, and he doesn't have to deal with Arsene. Just completely skip that. But right now, it's really looking close to this Arsene. Wait okay. a minute, down smash. Yeah, down smash. You're putting T. Wow, what happened? are what you was serious? That? The back air? That deep? Really? That's how it ends? <laughs> Leo, we can't even see the character models, bro. <laughs> he shield pokes and he drifts back in, and he starts to get the combos. Okay, no double jump here on the buzz, and just like that, the buzz force to use the upbeat early, and T with the reactions, hitting him with the nair, gonna take that first stop. Yo, send that boomerang back, and let's have a little bit of extra damage with auto reticle. But this back throw might be it. Yes, it is, and just like that, the buzz not even taking 10% on that second stop. He's so patient, just maintaining his position at the ledge. Like, while T was recovering high, then forced to recover low, pretty much bobbing and weaving around to buzz's uh, projectiles. Uh, the buzz just stood in one spot and waited for him to roll. He's like, I, from here, I have your get up, I have your jump, I have your roll. Pick an option, I got you. And just like that, the buzz lines went there, gets a solid 50 to 60 damage. And does that combo look at, look as easy as it looks? Or is it as easy as it looks? The answer is yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, I was, I was hoping for some like in-depth analysis and you know, you really got to drift back at this position. You have like three frames for it. No, it's just, nah. you just push the button, huh? Nair, nair, up air, up air. <laughs> wow. So you can check out how T made it this far. But yeah, man, that fair. What a call out from T. Just straight up called out that double jump and killed that man at 107% T fly. Like, damn. Yeah. Look at all this pressure coming out from T, just full control. And now the Buzz is actually in a situation where he has to come into TT. Obviously has projectiles being Breath of the Wild Link. So he's going to have a lot of things to kind of zone the Buzz out. But, man, he's still getting pretty aggressive with these dash grabs, though. Yeah, especially at the ledge. You know, the Buzz is going to feel really confident and patient uh, because he knows that as soon, wow. as, as soon as T touches the shield, we're going to see the Nair come out. Okay, okay, like the instantly. Buzz. He's kind of getting bibbity bop right now. <laughs> like, three socks to one. Yeah. <laughs> He's killed him at around 100, like, twice in a row. Like, the Buzz is trying to get something started, and every time the Buzz tries to come in for an aerial, just feels like T knows exactly when and where he wants to come in with mm -hmm. and swats him out, like, kind of just beats him to the punch. Okay, forward airs at the ledge. He's caught into Buzz a couple times already. The Buzz can't get in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Finally, the backer, but he's living. Can the buzz get the nair to finish him off? No oh, way! Oh, the reverse! No way! The three! Damn! Oh. Damn! You just got sauced. Oh man! Not like that. Not in front of oh. everyone. Yo, wait. <laughs> Who you trying to edge guard though? You trying to edge guard me? Nah, nah, nah. You get, you gonna get three stocked right here. Hold that. Not this hero. Going to see the bomb recovery up smash hero spin. What? Yeah. Right out of shield. That's uh pretty much Link's fastest out of shield option to my knowledge. Um. Don't have and to go the flashiest. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And gonna get himself back in the game. He's got a full tank of rage, pretty much on T. The buzz is in <laughs> well in kill percent. I love how T just full hop and then fast ball there. He's like, "Yo, I know your hitbox is trash. It's gonna pop out of shield. I'm gonna shield poke you. This is gonna happen." <laughs> of this air-to-air -air combat here, and I don't know if the buzz is gonna have an answer. He's got to come up with one soon. Well, roll behind is not the answer because T was ready, and that up tilt comforts both sides. Cover is like dang front, that back and up, bro. That Nair took the whole squad out. He he took out two Pikmin and hit Olimar, man. Talk about value. Yo, I thought like Ganon was the evil one. What kind of <laughs> what kind of life body count is this Link racking up? <laughs> wow, the purple Pikmin like got the buzz out of that really sticky situation. The up air beating out the forward air gets under him, but the Nair prevailing here for T. Can he finish off the stalk on the ledge here? Oh wow, and another oh, roll gets caught and T popping off with the fist. Bump. I mean, even right there, we saw the buzz reach in with the white Pikmin. He threw a white Pikmin to try and last one on the T. T answered with the boomerang. Boomerang actually clashed with the white Pikmin, but you know, the buzz still a strong player, able to pick up the stock. Oh man, and just gets the revenge stock right there. But I do like how the buzz answered with some of the fair spacing. He was like, you know what? I'm a short character. I'm gonna get right up under you and just hit you with the up air. Mm -hmm. All right, so now the buzz with the lead, racking up some damage as well. We'll see if T can just get this quick revenge stock or. Is the buzz going to keep riding this momentum, getting this damage? I guess not. Yep, but not before taking 58%. He did only get hit a few times, but guess what? The damage output from Olimar is insane, yeah. as you can see. Fling out fares or forward tilts and catch kind of like vanilla ledge trapping without setup. 
It's very interesting. Feels like the T's using the bombs a little bit more for uh, positioning. He's for throwing it off stage to force uh, the buzz to go either high or to the ledge. And then he goes for the ledge trap from that point. There's the Ooh, bomb explosion. He almost sniped him out of the air. Oh, pivot up tilt! And just like that, wow. That's true, but we are about 10 seconds away. Okay, make that less. Oh, and they get the direction of air dodge. The full waft is online. The up tilt waft is going to connect. And just like that, three stocks to one here for Tweak. Not letting it get too out of hand here for Samsora, but Tweak coming back and getting all the momentum just right back on his side. But here comes the Peach combos. Nairs across stage, but doesn't get to connect everything. Wow, oh. and ending it off with the bite as well. That's right, and with all the momentum yeah, at his disposal, Tweak is definitely playing Samsora's forward game. Forward air? Landing a forward air, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> Drop oh, down man. forward air? Tried to kill this man at 69%. We see a train, you know. Oh, Another big really? F smash from Tweak. Dang. Samsora not expecting that. These smash attacks don't really exactly come out from our from our top players too often. He's honestly going to be able to close out the second stock just so that the waft doesn't become a threat and just becomes an equalizer. But the full waft does happen. That was really good from Tweak. He, he knew he couldn't get a confirm, so he just went for the raw waft. He, he had armor on that too, so if Samsora swung, he would have beat it out. And it covered such a big area on the landing. So that was just really well played, and now another waft is charging. That's what I was saying, like, he's having a little bit, it's, it feels hard to land on top of Peach, especially when they excel at these low floats. Okay, wow, the Nair swatting tweak, he does not have the bike available. Oh, and a waft off the ledge roll. He had the half waft, and that is only because he used the full waft earlier, and that's what I'm talking about. When you get multiple wafts, that's when you get more value out of your character. TSM Tweak out here optimizing. So you're saying you get multiple comeback mechanics? You already know, bro. Right now the bike is out. Tweak just staying by the bike, but the up smash, and we talked about anti-airs earlier. Mm -hmm. Sansor has been doing an incredible job of doing it, but this time doing it with a kill option and getting the lead. An aerial approach. There's the down air into Waft. No, he doesn't get it. He, that is a Waft confirm. Maybe. That was a Waft confirm, but I think we are one second away from actually being half Waft. Wow, man. Oh, but on Q, gonna use the Waft in combination with the bike, really just so throwing Samsor off because Tweak is not really using these Wafts from confirms. That's right. You know, as someone who's con uh, constantly using these half Wafts, you really gotta keep an eye on the timer. Is online here. Or at least like the small waft. Yeah. Oh, there it is. He tried to call him out. Yeah. Yeah. So Tweak not getting that one, but he can still win just through a back air. Oh, tries to get the up tilt here. Tries to get the dash tag. The bike coming oh. out, but the up air, the rainbow's coming out for Samsor, and he gets himself on the board. Yeah, rainbow power is nothing to laugh at. You got to respect that. All right, and Pokemon Stadium 2 is the stage. We get the run back and the color change as well. And wow, Samsor is starting things off with the Nair Train. 63% off one conversion. Yeah, worst case scenario, Sensor is looking for a trade. Wow, and that forward air, not even a trade, just gonna cleanly beat him now. Now tweak down an entire stock this game, number four, but the waft is still available. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. There's the up tilt, no waft to follow though. Gets the parry, down tilt, still on the hunt, but no waft confirmed. He has to save it. Oh no, he doesn't. He just catches Samsora going high, but the forward air on the return, not enough. Oh, gets poked. Now, this is hard because he has to he has to beat Samsora with no waft on this last dog. It's gonna be very, very difficult. Wario trying to fight his way out the corner. Very, very hard against Peach. Peach probably one of the best characters in the game, especially he's piloted by Samsora. It's just so hard to get out. And Peach, with all the rage, is gonna be enough to steal that first dog away from Tweak, man. And it just looked like Tweak had all the control. You know what I mean? But back air from center stage is gonna steal out the stock. Guess where we have even percents, even stocks, but waft is here. Ooh, the Sour Dash Tag connecting. Who is going to have the lead coming into the final stock here? And it looks like the answer is Tweak. Putting a little bit more damage. Up throw. No. Oh, wow. he doesn't pull the trigger on the waft on the air dodge to the ground. Wow. He's, he's had a couple opportunities to push the down B button, but it's not using it. He must be saving it in case he needs it. Right now, just he has momentum. He has the advantage. He's just trying to maintain it. Man, he hasn't used waft a single time. He definitely wanted to land on the bike and waft there. But Samsora with the call out, with the Nair. As long as Waft is online, Samsora has to have a certain playstyle to make sure that, A, it's, it's not viable, but the back air is able to connect. No Waft needed to win the set. Yeah, and Nairo definitely uh, 
Not someone that is uh, scared to go off stage. Wow, what item control. He just Z grabbed that mid air. And the forward air is going to close it out, catching him on the top side there. So Samsor going to come in with this lead. Now, oh, where's the back air? Yeah, there it is. No jump on Samsora, forced to go with the up B, and Nairo catching him going to the ledge there. But Samsora is able to make it back on the stage. Yeah, it's big brain play though. You know, he reached wow. with uh, he was reaching with the back air, but able to catch the drift with a nair, and then even following up with another back air. That's right. Just maintaining stage control, explosive flame, you know, force uh force Samsora to recover just back a little bit air? lower. Is that it? He, wow! Nairo is so damn clutch, bro. He is so close against these two competitors with the parry, but no punish. Kind of difficult. I understand why Nero wouldn't have gone for it. Wow. But the big up smash, that's going to be an anti-air. And putting Samsora on the board. Okay, dash attack connects for Samsora. Now, look at the roll around. Wow. He's just trying to mess up the positioning from Nairo. Especially if, like, Nair comes out, he's going to be able to get the punish. And Peach has such a great tool in terms of having that float against... Wow, dude, these, these Z catches are so high. <laughs> just... I'm telling you, get the turn up counter going. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, the Peach Bomber does connect. Another turn up catch. But guess what? You can only really catch one of those. Ooh, wow. Float cancel right into the grab, and the damage just keeps racking up here for Samsora. Falling up air, going to throw off the timing, and the back air connects, and that is going to be a two stock coming into this game number three. On to Samsora. The down tilt connects. The forward air does get air dodge, but at what cost? Because Nairo's going to follow up on the frame trap with the Nair, and that takes the first stock. All right, Nairo getting some started with the Nair. Calls okay. out the jump. There's no jump on Samsora. And no it's air dodge, but oh. landing with the forward air. Very big hitbox. Oh. The back air going to connect. Not enough to take the stock, but whoa. Okay, grab the turn up. So confident, even at Grim. Look, oh man, and just like that, the back air does connect, and Nairo will end this tournament at ninth place, but what a performance from both of these players. That's right. EU Samsora advancing into top eight from loser's side. Donkey Kong.